Hey guys, welcome back to Auron Mechanics. Today we got that Land Rover Discovery 2 at the auction. Okay, he's hitting the front and he does, he, we don't even know the mileage on that thing or if it runs and drives and what kind of damage it is. So we went wild on it, but we got it pretty cheap. Only 725 bucks for that thing, guys. So we're going to do some videos and maybe repair it. We're going to see what luck we have with it once we pop the hood open because the hood is stuck now and we cannot even turn uh, change the battery to see what mileage it has. Stay with us guys to see what we're going to do. Of course we will need to drop the drive shaft before, you, before we pull it or put it in neutral because being a four wheel drive, the old school, as you know, that's one good thing about Land Rovers. You can actually put it in neutral and pull it that way. Okay guys, that's what it is. We're going to take it to the shop now and see what the damage is and if we got screwed up in the deal or not. Okay guys, right there now with a 19mm range, we're going to take the drive shaft off because we tried to install the battery but it doesn't open guys and we're going to mess with it at the shop. So now just to be able to pull it, we're going to unhook the drive shaft. Only three bolts for that rubber flex disc right there. So we pretty simple deal. Now okay guys, that's the drive shaft right out of there. Pretty simple design as you can see, only the three bolts that we removed, then it just slides out as you can see. So now we can take that thing home. That thing even has a third row seat. It's it's pretty pretty sweet deal for 725 bucks, even though it needs quite a bit of bodywork. Hey guys, we brought the rover at the shop now and we actually opened the hood. What we did, there was two bolts that hold the hood latch right here. So we just managed to remove those two. So we can pull it a little bit, so we can make enough room, or we already did on this side, to get the battery out and replace it and see if it's going to start or not. And what the damage is, and now we're going to pull a little bit on this side so we can install the airbox because it was pushed in. So we're going to do a little bit of a pull with the Mercedes now. Alright guys, we had a boot box so we don't do more damage to the front clip even though it will need to be replaced most likely. You can see we gain about two inches right here and we're away from the radiator fan that was you can see it was already all the way in the radiator fan so now we have more clearance we still need to pull a little bit more hey guys we just put a new battery so let's check what mileage that thing has 129,000 so that's pretty good for a 2000 model but it doesn't want to start and as you can see the, it doesn't show if it's in drive or park, so most likely we have a blown fuse. We're going to check now and see what it is. Usually when a vehicle has been in a wreck, guys, sometimes the fuses will, some fuses that relate to the engine or the, the transmission will be blown. So now we need to check which one is for the engine or battery right here. So we need to check F13 and F12 and maybe F1 and F2. So most likely it's one of those fuses. So we're going to start with F13. Okay, it's good. Good fuse guys. So now we're going to check with the other one. Oh, and that thing is blown. As you can see, it could be just because when your headlights go out and positive and negative touch each other, pretty much you blow a fuse. So we're going to replace it with a new one. And let's see if it's going to start now. Okay, we can hear it beeping inside, hopefully guys, okay let's have the fingers crossed. Now, and now it actually shows park as you can see, so that's a good sign. A fire right up guys. Yeah, let's see if it moves. Okay, yeah, it moves.
Tim, we got a pretty big deal for 725 bucks. Oh, let's see. We need a little bit more to get the parts to pick that thing. Okay, now let's see. All right, even the fuel lights now. All right, guys, let us know what you think about it. If you need any videos about Land Rover, let us know too. Thank you for watching us.